Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about the iPhone and more specifically, we're gonna show how to remove a credit card from your iPhone for your iTunes payment method. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with the process, basically what we're gonna do is your iTunes payments are automatically connected to whatever credit card you set up in your iPhone. And from time to time, you might switch credit cards or from time to time, you maybe run out of money on a credit card. And for that, you wanna go ahead and remove that credit card. That's what we're gonna go over. Real easy process. This is going to be a really quick tutorial. So first off, what you want to do is go to your iPhone settings, which is this gray gear icon right here. It's nothing you have to download. It's already pre-installed on your iPhone. I'm going to open it up now. All right, once you open it up, then you're going to come into this screen and this drop down menu, you can do a lot of different things to customize your iPhone. But if you want to remove a credit card from your iPhone for your iTunes account, you want to scroll down until you get to this screen right here called iTunes and App Store. It's this blue and white icon. It looks like it has a little A right there. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you get here, then this screen is going to show your Apple ID here on the top. It's a, written in blue. It's usually your email address. It might be something different, but I'm not too sure. Usually mine's the email address. If yours happens to be something else, be sure to leave a comment below. But I believe they're always an email address. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you still want to click on the blue line called Apple ID. I'm going to click there now. All right, next, this pop-up happens, and you have four different options here, but you want to choose the top option called View Apple ID here in blue. I'm going to click there now. All right, next, in order to access this part of your iPhone for your iTunes payment methods, you will need to verify your identity. So I have my Touch ID set up. You might have to enter in your password. Go ahead and follow that security measure. I'm gonna go ahead and use my thumbprint now. All right, next, once you have verified your identity, then you're gonna end up here in the account settings screen. And what you wanna do is go ahead and click on manage payments if you'd like to remove a credit card from your iPhone iTunes. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next, the screen pops up and it should show all the different payment methods that you have set up with your iPhone iTunes. So for me, I just have my MasterCard listed right here, as you can see. If you wanna go ahead and remove a credit card from your iPhone iTunes, you wanna click on this line or whichever line shows the payment method that you want to remove. If you have multiple payment methods, be sure that you check the last four digits of the card that's listed there. I've covered my credit card number for obvious reasons, but if you have multiple cards and it's gonna show multiple last four digits, just choose the one that you wanna remove. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one by clicking on that line now. All right, next the screen pops up where you can and verify the MasterCard or card that you're going to be removing. Also verify the four digits that are listed here just to make sure you're removing the right credit card. And if you decide to go ahead and remove a credit card from your iPhone, iTunes account, click on this red line right here called Remove. I'm not gonna click it just because I don't have a need to delete this credit card from my iPhone, iTunes account, but I wanted to show you that process. That's the easiest way I know how to remove a credit card from your iPhone, iTunes account. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below let the rest of us know how you did it. But as far as I can see, this is the easiest way to remove a credit card from your iPhone iTunes. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.